can we not begin to trust that the rest will also be provided for us? The next time you are frightened, think about the abundance of air and say, I trust the process of life to take care of me. Whenever someone is in pain, I know they have created a lot of guilt for themselves. Chronic pain comes from unrelenting guilt, often so buried that we are not even aware of it anymore. This guilt must be dissolved before the pain can be eliminated. Guilt is a totally useless emotion. It never makes anyone feel better, nor does it change a situation. Your sentence is now over. Let yourself out of prison. Anger combined with guilt often contributes to accidents. The degree of physical damage lets us know how severely we felt we needed to be punished and how long the sentence. Where this pain occurs in the body gives us a clue to which area of life we feel guilty about. Critical people often attract a lot of criticism because it is their pattern to criticize. They are often cursed with perfectionism, the need to be perfect at all times in every situation. Do you know of anyone on this planet who is perfect? I do not. Why do we set up standards that say that we have to be super person in order to be barely acceptable? That is such a heavy burden to carry. When I was a little girl, I had a very difficult childhood. My parents divorced when I was 18 months. I was raped when I was five. I became a battered child and grew up in the Depression. My mother was very much a victim, and my stepfather constantly expressed his own brutalized childhood. I grew up having a lot of resentment. I had to create cancer in my own body before I was willing to begin to release that resentment. I am certainly not condoning the behavior of any of the people who mistreated me. However, for me to spend a lifetime just running the old movie, feeling blame and anger and resentment, is not doing me any good in the present moment. I learned that resentment only eats away at me, and it did. In my case, holding on to old blame and feeling resentful for all that they did to me helped to create my disease. Releasing and letting go helped me to heal myself. The past is over and done. We cannot change that now. We can change our attitude toward the past and our thoughts toward the past. How foolish for us to punish ourselves in the present moment because someone else hurt us in the long ago past. It's not worth it. I often say to people who have deep resentment patterns, please begin to dissolve the resentment now when it is relatively easy. Don't wait until you're under the threat of a surgeon's knife and you have to cope with panic too. It is vital that we release foolish, outmoded, or negative ideas and beliefs that do not support us and nourish us. Our concepts of ourselves and of life and of God must support us, not negate us. No matter what our disease, if we choose to believe that we are helpless victims and that it is all hopeless, then the universe will support us in that belief and we will just go down the drain. When people come to me with a problem, I don't care what it is, poor health, lack of money, unfulfilling relationships, or stifled creativity, there is only one thing I ever work on and that is loving the self. I find that when we really love and accept and approve of ourselves exactly as we are, 
then everything in life flows. It is like little miracles are everywhere. Our health improves. We attract more money. We have better relationships. We begin to express ourselves creatively. I often ask people to look in the mirror and say, I love and accept myself exactly as I am. When they can't do it, or won't do it, or find it painful or silly, then I know they are killing themselves with their own critical thoughts. Do this exercise in a mirror. See what comes up in your mind. Notice how you feel. This may be the center of your problem. Resenting, criticizing, or fearing others and not being willing to love and accept yourself. When we won't love ourselves, it just means that we are still believing the old limitations that someone taught us many years ago. Usually that person was someone who did not know how to make their own life work. But remember, your limiting beliefs are only thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. Let's change them now. The only thing you ever have control over is your current thought. Loving ourselves, to me, begins with never, ever, ever criticizing ourselves for anything. Criticism only locks us into the very pattern we are trying to change. Understanding and being gentle with ourselves helps us move out of it. After all, you have been criticizing yourself for years, and it hasn't worked. Let's try approving of yourself and see what happens. Self-approval and self-acceptance, right here and right now, are the keys to positive changes. It is also important that we release the past and be at least willing to forgive. Love is always the answer to healing and health, and the road to love is through forgiveness. It is imperative for our own healing that we release the past and forgive everyone. We may not know how to forgive, and we may not want to forgive. But because we say we are willing to forgive, we begin the healing process. We do not have to know how to forgive. All we need to do is to be willing to forgive. The universe will take care of the house. The Course in Miracles says that all disease comes from a state of non-forgiveness and that whenever we are ill, we need to look around to see who it is that we need to forgive. I know that the very person you find it hardest to forgive is the one you need to let go of the most. Forgiveness means giving up, letting go. It has nothing to do with condoning behavior. It's just letting the whole experience go and coming into the present moment. We understand our pain so well, how hard it is for most of us to understand that they were also in pain and doing the best they could with the understanding and awareness and knowledge they had. In order to heal ourselves, we need to be willing to change our thinking, to forgive others, and to learn to love and accept ourselves more. When we refuse to be willing to love ourselves, then we are denying ourselves our own healing. Self